Hi guys, I'm Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's uh, Ascension messages, sorry, for April 17th through 21st, 2020. I don't have any extra messages. I don't have any cards that came out today. Uh, matter of fact, I've done my praying, but I didn't even um, shuffle the cards like I normally do. So that's probably why no cards came out. I'm not feeling like doing this reading. I've been told to do this reading. I've been guided to do it. Um, I'm just not feeling myself the last couple days. I have been going through quite a bit of challenges of um, with healing, feeling rejected, um, healing things from my past, healing things in my present, letting go of people, um, and none of it feels comfortable. I um, have been questioning a lot about my life, thinking about letting go of this channel. Um, questioning whether or not it's even worth having this channel, um, why I have it, all, all the stuff that goes along with it, okay? I've really just been questioning my whole entire existence. Um, am I doing the right things? Am I uh, having the right type of relationships? Am I really healing all, what all needs to be healed? Just a lot of stuff, okay? A whole lot of stuff. And, um, you know, I know that this is temporary. That's how healing goes. You know, this crap is temporary, but um, right now I'm just not feeling it. I don't want to be around anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to do this reading. I don't want to do any healing. While I'm looking at the clock, it says 3223 two, three, um, is how much time I have on here. So look that up, 3223. Two, three. That's a mirror. So you may be mirroring things in people. I'm definitely mirroring things in people. Um, while I'm sitting here, I am hearing death of ego for some of you. So I don't know who that's for. What cards am I supposed to start with today, please? Angel cards. Thank you. Universal energies. What messages do you have for April 17th through 21st, 2020? Am I supposed to take both of those? Cut your cords and Archangel Michael. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. That's where I'm at right now. There must be a lot of people going through this. I felt a huge energy shift. Um, it was either two or three days ago that's made me, forced me to take a look at relationships in my life and whether or not I need to have them. If the relationships are no longer serving you a purpose, if they're bringing you down, making you cry, making you feel depressed, that's not of love and light, guys. There's something that needs to be healed there. And if you've done everything that needs to be healed on your part and the other person isn't, you need to walk away. Um, that's just how it is. Don't allow yourself to be brought down into lower vibrating energies because other people aren't taking a look at their part. Um, also, this is about, you know, we're in a energy of letting go of fears, becoming more fearless, becoming more about unconditional love and compassion and um, committing to communicating and speaking your truth and also walking in your truth. So, Make sure that these relationships meet up to what, what you want and desire in a relationship. If they don't, then communicate to them. 333. Three, three. Um, that's about Ascended Masters being of assistance, working with you. Angels being of help, I'm even hearing. Uh, usually 444 would be the angels, but I'm hearing angels being of help. Um, your truth is your truth. Just because somebody doesn't resonate with your truth doesn't mean that it that it's wrong or it's false. So keep speaking your truth, whatever that truth may be. Even if that truth hurts you or it hurts other people, make sure that you're doing that because everybody's truth is different. 404. But um, as you sit and pray and meditate and ask Archangel Michael to work with you and cut these cords, which is the next card, Archangel Michael, you are working very closely with this powerful archangel who is protecting you and guiding you through these situations. I wish you could see that better. There we go. But um, pray, meditate, and ask. Show me the cords that need to be cut from what people. Who do I need to let go of? Some of these are, are uh, soul contracts that need to be let go of. Some people are just lessons for you. Others are to teach you. Um, you know, we're either a student or a teacher at all times, so... Be open to receiving. Be open to learning more. Be open to things being different. However, don't settle for less than what you deserve or what you desire or whatever is true for you and brings you happiness and peace. Uh, 
I'm really struggling to get through this reading today. Where am I supposed to go? You know, guys, I always hate doing these readings when I'm in a state of funk, whatever I'm in, because it makes me feel vulnerable. Um, however, the reason why I do them is when I'm guided to do them when I'm in one of these funks is because somebody needs to hear what I'm going through, how I'm getting through it, um, to know that they're not alone in their journey. Messy hair, I don't care. Like, um, the reason for this channel is to be able to help one person. I guess if it helps one person, then it serves its purpose. I apologize for that pause. Uh, I didn't want to sit here for 10 minutes crying in front of you guys. However, I can't really pull myself completely back together. So I apologize for those of you who have to deal with it today or just turn my video off. I really don't care. Um, Caressa, you're at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you on your next step. Happiness awaits you now. So when you let go of things, they either come back to you because they're meant to come back to you. Things will heal on both sides and they'll come back to you. Or either you are stepping into a new cycle um, of letting go of the old so that you can step into the new. This is a lot of people doing that stuff. And that new may be that that relationship comes back to you or that that situation turns around for the better. However, if it doesn't, keep moving forward. Keep moving towards love. What makes you happy, what makes you joyous, what makes you feel free. Uh, a lot of us are really stepping into our power, starting to feel our worth. Our truth is lining up with, you know, our integrity, our values, you know, the things that we know that are right. All of that stuff. I hope that makes sense. I heard not really, but okay. <laughs> I really don't want to be doing this reading. Isaiah, it is a good time to give birth to new ideals and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. Somebody is having some kind of situations going on with employment. Um, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are right now because of the corona lockdown or what have you, but this is somebody that wasn't being affected by this lockdown, but I'm feeling like there's a, um, a change of employment. You've, you've been asked to do some kind of higher job or something that has to do with more responsibility, more, more what have you, and you're really weighing um, whether or not you should be doing this. I feel like this is moving you towards something that you've been looking for for a long time. Something that has to do with, uh, you know, more money, more financial stability. Make sure that you're moving that way. You've been asking for this. You've been praying for it. Um, and now that it's coming in a different package than what you did, you originally thought it would, it's giving you a little bit of stress. Take that stress away. Try to see things from a different perspective. See the gratitude in it um, and see where it leads you. And I feel like I, I keep seeing like um, business attire. So it may be like some kind of like, um, you know, black tie business or, you know, something of, I don't know. People have to be dressed up to be there. It looks like, yes, I hear. Um, and obviously that's just for somebody or some of you. And I feel like this card is screaming out that somebody needs to be writing a book, um, something to do with information, sharing their testimony, uh, collect, I'm hearing collect your thoughts. So this is something to do with writing a book or maybe po it may be even poetry or news articles or something of that sort. But I feel an upliftment, a, an energy of whatever is being written is uplifting. Yes, I hear. Okay. What cards am I supposed to go to now? Where? Thank you. Aries, what messages do you have for us for April 17th through 21st, 2020 for all individuals already aware of on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process, please? What messages do you have 
through April 17th through 21st, 2020, for all individuals already aware, they're on an ascension journey and don't want thank you. Am I supposed to take all three of these? Okay, two of them flipped up together. The first one that came out was Lasguna, which is a 39 card. I think we had this the other day. Um, give me just a second. Again, I'm getting blessings, duty, willingness is what I'm hearing, um, commitment, moving for forward, movement, moving forward and forward movement. And I feel like this has to do with putting your, you know, working with Archangel Michael to cut these cords on whatever it is. This isn't just about people, but this is about situations. People, places, and things, okay? Letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you a purpose. Um, cutting those cords. Uh, or, or it also is about committing, some of you committing to a certain person, place, or thing. Allowing yourself to be open-minded to changes and meeting in the middle is what I'm hearing for some of you. But this is... I'm hearing a lot about duty and willingness. That those two words keep coming up. This is a number 39 card. Three is about the um, ascended masters working with you. Nine is about philanthropy. Rounds down to a number 12, um, which is a rounds down to a number three. So um, let me see if this card has anything else to say because I feel like I'm missing something. When I said that, I'm hearing no, duty and willingness, open-mindedness, commitment. Okay, I'm just not going to read that then. I heard no, don't. Okay, and then the two cards that came out together was Spirit Dancer and the Piper. Okay, I, I know that these are supposed to be read together. I feel like the Piper is about coming up and out of, of a funk, out of the darkness and into the light. I feel like once you get out of this ego death is what I'm hearing, um... Something to do with ego death and going with the flow and um, allowing changes and transformation, metamorphosis to happen is what I'm hearing. Going with the rhythm of life, the rhythm of the way that the energy is going is what I'm getting. This one is talking about once you do that, you are going to feel light and free, more balanced, more at peace. Feeling like you're more in alignment with these new cycles. Um, more creative ideals will come in is what I'm hearing, which brings in the blessings. You know, it's all a big cycle. You put in the willingness, the commitment, the duty, the moving forward motions, the action to move forward. Then those blessings are going to come all the way back around to you. Okay. Um, also with this spirit dancer, I'm getting that a lot of people are just feeling very, um, Okay, again, up and down. This is where I've been. I'm feeling like this up and down feeling, feeling very balanced, very in alignment, very connected to all that is. And then all of a sudden, just the next day, you're angry, you're sad, you're having to deal with a lot of fears and push through some ego or shadow um, type stuff. Yes, 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 I heard. Okay. Um. This also rounds down to a number nine, which is about philanthropy. I'm hearing uh, be of give a giving energy so that you may receive. Um, and with this Piper, again, I'm just feeling going with the flow. And I'm hearing like um, the heart song. Like some people are feeling like they're just really connected to their heart song, whatever that means for you. And I'm, and I'm hearing yes. <laughs> Okay, and that also rounds down to a number six. It's a 24 card, but it rounds down to a number six, which, which is about the family dynamic. There could be a lot of cycles that are changing within the family. Um, things breaking down uh, that you've learned and you're having to, to start to um, really check your beliefs and things is also what I'm getting. So, like, just an example, if you're a male and, you're, and, and your father always told you every time you cried or you got in trouble or whatever and you cried, men don't cry. 
and now you're starting to cry and you feel bad for crying that's a system that's breaking down or a program that's breaking down something that's breaking down and helping you to move into new cycles so just cry force yourself allow yourself whatever to cry when you feel like you need to cry if that is you and that's just an example guys there are so many different examples that it could be but just go with the rhythm go with the flow allow your heart song to sing to be felt is what I'm hearing. Okay. What cards am I supposed to go to now? Universal Energies. What messages do you have, please, for April 17th or 21st, 2020? Thank you. A new start is coming. Thank God. And I'm hearing, like, bells and whistles and cheering, which means that, you know, something good's coming or we're on the right track or what have you. But I feel a lot of um, crown energy, like crown opening, uh, crown chakra, a lot of creative ideas, a lot of people following through with their ideas, uh, people getting out of procrastination and laziness. Good for you if that's you. And I'm hearing clapping again. Um but this is a lot about people just moving into a more positive energy, uh, feeling more balanced. A lot to do with allowing the new cycles to form because you're not fearing letting go of the old, okay? However that looks to you. Some of you, this is a new start in philanthropy. I can't ever say that 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 word but this is about you know giving of your time and energy and being more of uh, the leader instead of the follower for a lot of you. Okay, for a lot, yes, a lot. Um, I'm also feeling like there's a lot of people that are having these, these new experiences that have to do with connecting with other universes, um, other beings in other universes, or starting, to, or either starting to understand that they're a multi-dimensional being they're starting to net connect with those different aspects of, of wherever you are wherever you exist um congratulations again uh also a lot of people are starting to fill their life force kundalini chi energy whatever you want to call it some people are starting to speak like light language or speaking in tongues Connecting with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, whatever it is to you. Everybody has different beliefs or what have you. It's all the same energy, guys. It's all the energy of love, light, creation, I heard. What other messages do you have, please, for April 17th through 21st, 2020? For all individuals already aware of our own ascension journey and going through an awakening process. Thank you. Meditate and contemplate. Okay, so before you make any major decisions, before you um, do things out of fear, or act out of fear, make sure that you're praying, meditating, seeking guidance through your higher self, through source God, through the angels, whoever connects with you, whoever you connect with on a, on a daily basis, connect with them and pray and meditate. This is about your entrepreneurship for some of you um, that are starting to open up their own business or practice is what I'm hearing. Um, continue to move forward with that. However, uh, when it comes to like making decisions on who to hire, um, how much money to spend on s different supplies and stuff, all of those things, get guidance and pray and meditate and make sure that you're moving in the right direction, not just moving out of those human feelings of being good and or feeling good and being excited about this new start or what have you. But, you know, just really take time to sit back and contemplate about what it is that you're making decisions about, whatever it is, whether it's relationships and letting go and cutting cords or whether it's about committing to some somebody or something, um, whatever it may be, guys. I'm hearing music playing. I'm a lot of like, um, uh, guitars or fiddles and a lot of string instruments is what I'm hearing. Thank you, whoever said string instruments. Yes, a lot of string instru instruments. So I don't know if this means that people need to um, be around that, listen to that, be that, like, you know, uh, if, if you're one that plays instruments or what have you, but I, I just get like this melody is the word I'm hearing, melody. So it's, it's, again, about going with the rhythm of life, whatever life has given you, whatever it's putting in front of you. Oh, 
take it on with an open mind, with gratitude, with knowing that whatever this lesson is, it's just going to bring me closer to my final destination of being that unconditional love, that fearless person, that Christ consciousness person, somebody who keeps rising through states of consciousness, consciousness, higher states of consciousness due to the healing and the fears that they're, pa they're pushing through. So keep doing it. Keep going with the, the rhythm of life. Allow your heart song to sing is what I keep hearing. So whatever that means to you, I see often uh, notes or melodies coming up out of my heart and even Nick, um, We've, we've had, you know, different times during meditations where we've seen notes and heard about the heart song, but we don't know exactly, or I don't know exactly what it means or what have, have you, but I just go along with it. It's really cool to see that. So some of you may even be seeing that because I feel like a lot of people are just really seeing and feeling and experiencing different energies, different um, uh psychedelic worlds or astral traveling or what have you. There's a lot to do with out-of-body experiences so congratulations guys and that may be what this meditate and contemplate is about as well because those out-of-body experiences and astral traveling and stuff happen more readily or they're they're easier to get to when you meditate pray i heard pray meditate set the intentions to do just that what cards am i supposed to go to please animal spirit guides what messages do you have for april to flip over yeah, the spider flipped over. Trust the creative spark you f you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay, so for whoever this is, I'm feeling, you know, it's time to write your book. This is for many people, okay? I'm hearing this is for many people, including myself. Wow, okay. Um, but this is about writing a book, writing stories that inspire and enlighten people, giving information to the masses is what I'm hearing. But this is also about not being afraid to dream big. Commit to and put energy into those dreams that you think that are um, not reachable. Put the energy in anyway. Ask your guidance, which way am I supposed to go? How can I move towards my, my dreams and desires? Those things I feel like I can't reach. How do I get out of that? A lot of times it's about letting go of the ego, trusting, having faith, and just acting as if you already have those things and then they come to you. Yes, I hear. Okay. But that's what this is about. Be creative. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing music being played. So listen to music, play music if you are into playing music, what have you. What other messages do you have for April 17th through 21st, 2020 for all individuals? Thank you. Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think that you are. A lot of people are feeling really down, alone, um, fearful. You have to feel the fear to be able to get fearless. So push past those fears in whatever way that looks to you, whether it means, you know, um, telling your your truth to whoever and letting go of a relationship, 2244, or whether this means, you know, standing up for yourself with your beliefs or what have you. This is so many different things, but... Just know that you're going to get past this. You're going to get through it. The energies are going to keep shifting is what I'm hearing. You're going to keep having these ups and downs, so to speak. However, while you're going through these changes, most of us, if you've been awakened for a while, if you're one of the first, you know, three sets of volunteers, you probably are at that peaceful healing. So you feel balance. You feel peace. You feel serenity even when you're healing. However, um, it still can be challenging at times. Your human self can sometimes just allow yourself to not pray and meditate or not 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 want to pray and meditate because you just want to feel in those feelings. So just feel them, whatever. There's always lessons in everything that we do. So just go with the flow, whatever that flow is for you. Um, I'm going to get some confirmation cards and I'm going to let you guys go. What else? Thank you. Fortune. And this is a number five, which is about positive change and transformation. Trans information um, I'm feeling a lot of people getting into their emotions um, or out of their emotions and into their spiritual guidance or their intuitive guidance um, instead of allowing their human human feelings dictate um, what they're going through but that is bringing them to peace abundance fortune and positive feelings is what I'm feeling I don't feel like this is about money I feel like this is more about becoming in abundance of peace of um, what have you? 2424. Okay, I was told to look at the clock, so <laughs> 2424. Um, 
I'm also getting a lot of people are, are, are starting to feel fortunate. Yes, starting to feel fortunate, seeing more or feeling more gratitude, um, being more grateful for what they have and what they are going through, the lessons that they're, they're uh, even the challenges I'm hearing. I do want to read what this card has to say, though, just in case there's an extra message that I'm not getting. But I, I don't feel like it's about financial gain. However, it could be for some of you. But I feel like this is more of like, you know, that congratulations. You're finally coming into abundance and prosperity because you're doing what you're, you're supposed to be doing. You're pushing through. You're going with the flow what life is presenting to you. Yes, I'm hearing. Okay. Um. And there's a lot of suns on here and moons, which the sun, the sun and, um, okay, anyway, it, which is about the emotions and also about, you know, the physical human feelings. But I also get like people are metamorphosing, pushing past or transforming those lower vibrating energies of fear, doubt, lack, uh, not feeling enough, being rejected, all of those things and becoming more fearless and, and falling into like being more into their spiritual uh, feelings. I don't know if that's really the right way of saying that, but like in, more into in alignment with their spirit, that unconditional love, that bliss, that what have you. I'm not saying that everybody's going to stay in that. Of course, we're always going to be ascending to higher states of consciousness, but we're awareness. But what I'm saying is like, there's a lot of people that's transitioning through letting go of so many things and moving into this more positive energy. And I'm hearing yes. Okay. A lot about letting go of the, the human part of it. 22, 22. Nope, that isn't what I seen, but I heard it. Okay, um, where am I at? Fortune, creative self-expression. There is an element of game playing when this card appears in a reading. It denotes that whatever has gone before had a long-term strategy in which each move was countered with a new problem to solve. <laughs> That's exactly how it's been going. I'll get rid of something, feel imbalanced, and I'll have a new problem to solve or something else new to heal that I didn't even know that I had issues with. So that's what this is talking about. It says, the inquirer accepted the challenge each time and surmounted it. When the fortune card appears with cards that are less auspicious, it has the power to lessen any negatives in a reading. Events, grand successful plan, great show or achievements, receiving recognition, a creative success, Exhibit, ex, exhibition, I can't even say it. Exhibition, I can't say it, never mind. Exhibition of talents, successful offspring, and love affair. So that's what that means. Are there any more confirmation cards that would like to come out? Let me just see if there's any more. Both of them. Patience, which is a number six card, which is about the family dynamic, which is about relationships. Um, so, you know, be patient with people, guys. Everyone is going through a change right now. The mass is awakened, so you're probably dealing with a lot of people around you or maybe not dealing with a lot of people around you, but however, dealing with yourself. A lot of people's doing that inward look, um, having to take a look at their fears, their uh, past relationships, questioning all of the beliefs that they've been uh, taught throughout their life and things like that. Some of you may be feeling a, a revenge or vengeful uh, type of energy, wanting to get back at people because they're not giving to you what you want. Step out of that. That's a lower vibrating energy. Get out of it. Step into, you know, being patient with yourself and others and allow love to bring you up out of that stuff face those challenges head on and the blessings will come right back to you. Okay, guys, I hope that this reading resonates with somebody. I apologize for my little emotional spurt. However, it is what it is and I was guided to make this reading. I'm feeling better at the moment, so that's a good thing. I'm grateful for that. Today's I am affirmations are I am hope. Be optimistic, guys. I am grateful for my ascension symptoms and the transformation that comes with them. Yes, 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 yes. Be grateful for those symptoms, whether it be fear, doubt, 
uh, physical symptoms that you may be feeling within your body because you're allowing yourself to be in those lower energies. When you're in those lower energies, you start to feel that depressive state or what have you. You start to have physical pain and, and things like that. I'm in that state. Get your back self back to being grateful for those symptoms because you know once you get past this there's so much growth you're in a higher state of awareness or a higher state of consciousness that much more experience with source god with the angels with the ascended masters what have you i am focused on what i want i'm hearing i set out to achieve my goals whoever that's for I am focused on what I want. I set out to achieve my goals for somebody. Okay. I am balanced. Not feeling so balanced today, but however, anyway. Um, if you have donated to my channel or donating to my channel, I just wanted to thank you guys. I have been having a slow spurt with business, so I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, if you wish to donate, the information is down below in the uh, description below on this video. And I hope everybody uh, would like, share, subscribe, and follow. If you don't already, let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. And everybody have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Bye. I love you.